so now today we will learn about more about lines line segment and rays okay the different types of line segments rays so first one is the intersecting lines first one is the intersecting lines intersecting lines okay when uh, when two lines meet each other when two or more lines okay two or more lines suppose this one is one line and this one is one line m n p q so these two lines are crossing each other at one common point this is their common point of intersection the point where they are meeting okay point o so these two lines are called intersecting lines okay now this point is called where they are intersecting it is called point of intersection point of point of intersection now in these are intersecting lines intersecting line segments intersecting line segments there is a difference between line and line segments yes or no so intersecting line segments so these are line segments x y a b intersecting at point m so crossing over of two or more lines intersecting lines can be intersecting lines or line segments can be more than two like this more than two they have one point of intersection yes or no so more than more than two lines can intersect at one point okay so these are called intersecting lines or intersecting line segments and the point and the common point where they meet is called the point of intersection point of intersection now the next one is perpendicular line perpendicular line perpendicular line in perpendicular line what happens when a vertical ray or line it can be ray or line segment okay ray or line segment when a vertical line meets a sorry this is horizontal line okay this is horizontal line when a horizontal line meets a vertical line meets a vertical line okay it forms a perpendicular line it forms a perpendicular line a b m o now this perpendicular line intersects the vertical line at point o okay it forms the perpendicular line it forms a perpendicular line so examples are letters example of perpendicular lines are letter t here horizontal line is meet meet with vertical line l l is an example of um, perpendicular line this is the horizontal and this is the vertical line or line segments line segments okay so when a vertical ray line or line segment meets a horizontal ray line or line segments then a perpendicular line is formed next one is parallel lines parallel lines okay so in parallel lines what happen two horizontal lines rays or line segment or two vertical lines rays or line segments when they are parallel to each other like this m n p q can you see so these two horizontal lines are parallel to each other the, the distance between these two lines the distance between these two lines a are equal 
the distance will always be equal between two parallel lines and two parallel lines will never meet they will be parallel if you extend the line it will be parallel only they will never meet each other parallel lines never meet each other it will be parallel to each other okay and the distance between them will be equal so two lines that is parallel they have equal distance between them it can be horizontal also and it can be vertical also or slanting also like this vertical parallel lines okay m n o r or it can be slanting parallel lines x y a b so lines which never meet the lines which never meet each other they are called parallel lines okay so for example the edges of the ruler edges of the ruler edges means the borders of the ruler this border and this border they will never meet each other or the railway tracks the tracks of the railway okay this line and this line it will never meet each other okay so these are parallel lines next one is angle angle okay so angle when two rays when two rays or line segment when two rays or line segment meet at a common point okay it forms an angle so o a b these two rays are meeting at the point o so it is forming an angle this angle they are forming an angle okay now this point o is called the vertex this point o is called the vertex and this oa ray oa and ray ob oa and ob ray they are called the arms okay now how we will name this angle for naming an angle remember we use three letters okay and the vertex is always in is in the center like this angle a o b so we are using three letters this is the symbol of angle and we are naming this angle as angle a o b the vertex the vertex is always at the center the angle which it is formed the vertex is always at the center okay so this is an angle when two rays or line segments meet at a point an angle is formed i hope you all understood